Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lauren McKinney and I love making videos about slow fashion, capsule wardrobing, and finding your personal style. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something really important, which is how to make sure that your wardrobe suits your lifestyle. As we're discovering our personal style, I find that it's really easy to build wardrobes based on this kind of aspirational identity of ourselves or the person we want to be instead of the person that we are. And if you watched this video that I made about inspiration, I'll link it up here. It's really easy to let that kind of bog you down. And at the end of the day, if you're constantly building towards a person that you're not, then your wardrobe is not going to suit you the way that it needs to. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about seven essential tips or questions that I like to ask myself when taking inventory of what my lifestyle is and how my wardrobe can best work for me. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely stay tuned. Before we do that, I would love it if you could please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Actually, a huge percentage of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to my channel. So if that's you, hit that subscribe button down below and let's try to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be just so, so amazing. If you enjoy my videos and wanna see more content like this as well as support my channel, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below Hello. I'd love to see how you build your wardrobe for your lifestyle specifically. Let's go ahead and get into my seven questions, tips, and tricks to ask or to consider when you're putting together a wardrobe for your lifestyle. The first factor to consider, and this is important above all of these because this tip is like at the core of the rest of the six tips, and that is to be honest with yourself. Finding your personal style should be something that is really slow, carefully, and mindfully done. And while we're doing it, sometimes it's easy to get caught up in what we see on Pinterest or on other forms on social media and try to build our wardrobe around those things instead of around who we are. So being honest with yourself is absolutely crucial. Be honest with yourself about the kind of activity that you do, the kinds of habits that you practice daily, the kind of person that you are and the kind of needs that you have. When you acknowledge all of those things, then everything else will follow suit and your wardrobe will better suit you than it ever did before. So let's break down some of the ways that we can be honest with ourselves by moving into tip number two. So the second thing to consider is simply how much you move physically in a day. Now we all know that daily movement is really good for us. So I'm not talking about like getting up and going on a walk every couple of hours or like going to the gym every day. If you practice those things, that's absolutely amazing. Really what I'm getting at is does your day to day require constant movement? If it does, then you're going to need different pieces than if you were working a more sedentary or office or desk based job. If you walk or bike to work or walk or bike to do your errands versus driving to do your errands, that's going to require different pieces in your wardrobe as well. Physical activity can really help us determine the kinds of pieces that we need. If you ultimately have a lifestyle or a day-to-day -day life that requires more physical movements, then you're going to want to emphasize really comfortable fabrics, things that are easy to clean and easy to wash, things that wick sweat and ultimately keep you cool. You'll also want to focus on colors that tend to show less sweat, especially if you live in a warmer climate. Whereas if your day-to-day -day life is more or less sedentary, if you drive a Lot, or if you work at a desk job or at a place that requires you to sit or stand pretty still throughout the day, then you can build a wardrobe that has slightly more uh, needy fabrics, things like silk and wool, things that you wouldn't necessarily just throw in the wash, but that you would have to hand wash or dry clean. You have a little bit more versatility in terms of colors. You also have more versatility in terms of types of pieces. You can choose pieces that may be slightly more restrictive because you're simply not moving as much. That being said, if you are sitting often, then you will definitely wanna choose something with just a slight bit of stretch because we all know how annoying it is to sit in non-stretch jeans or not stretch or non-stretch pants for hours on end. It is not comfortable. So if you do have a job like that, choosing a stretchier fabric will 
make you comfortable and will have your stomach thanking you many hours later. The next thing to consider is to ask yourself what your kind of daily and weekly habits are. This can definitely uh, take your job into consideration, but this is also just simply what is it that you do every day and what is it that you do on the weekends? Don't forget the weekends. Those are also an important part of building out your wardrobe. So if you're the kind of person that after work, you go out every single night to have dinner with friends or anything like that, you'll want things that have maximum versatility. Whereas if you're the kind of person that comes home from work or finishes their work day if you're working from home and you like to kind of chill or enjoy yourself cooking in the kitchen or hang out on the couch, then you'll want a wardrobe that reflects that too. Building out your loungewear, making yourself still feel put together, but also with maximum comfort. If you're very, very active on the weekends, then you'll want to build a wardrobe that has a lot of active wear or versatile pieces, things that work both for going on the hike and then going out to coffee or lunch afterwards. If you're the kind of person that likes to go out on the weekends, then you'll also want to build a wardrobe that reflects that. This means comfortable heels and comfortable dresses, things that fit the kind of activities that you do so that while you're living your day-to-day -day life or even on a weekend basis, you're not constantly uh, being troubled by what you see in your wardrobe or constantly feeling like you have nothing to wear. The fourth thing to consider is actually a question you'll want to ask yourself. And this kind of touches on tip two and tip three, but ultimately the question you wanna ask yourself is what do I need my wardrobe to accomplish? Do I need it to accomplish comfort? Do I need to accomplish ease? What about presentability? What about comfort? What about professionalism? Finding out what you want your wardrobe to accomplish will not only, will not only influence the types of pieces and the style of pieces that you have in your wardrobe, but will also impact the kinds of fabrics that you have in your wardrobe, as well as the fits and colors. If you want a wardrobe that is very easy, then you'll need fabrics that are washable, that you can just throw in the wash and hang up or put to dry and it's not a big deal. Easy fabrics like cotton or tencel are really great for this kind of lifestyle. If you have a lifestyle that requires more professionalism, and pieces that are slightly more upscale, things like silks and wools, then you'll have to build in the fact that those fabrics will requ require slightly more care than others do. And that kind of sums up the second and the third points. Let's move into the fifth point, which is identifying pieces that you love and taking your time to find them in a cut, fit, fabric, etc. that is right for you. Let's say that you really love a button down silhouette, but that you have a lifestyle that is pretty casual and don't necessarily need to feel put together all of the time. A normal button down in cotton poplin or even a silk is just automatically going to be too difficult to take care of and it's probably going to stain a lot easier than say a button down in linen would be. So you can find that silhouette that you like in a fabric that works really really well for you. The same thing can be said if you really like a t-shirt or kind of basic top silhouette but you work a more professional job. Finding a t-shirt in a beautiful silk or satiny material styled with a blazer or a pencil skirt can help you to keep that kind of basic minimal top look that you like without compromising the professionalism of your outfit. Do you love the look of 100% cotton jeans but have a job that requires you to sit at home at your desk all day and just can't even stand the idea of sitting in jeans all day long? You have a couple of options. You can go for a jean that is one or two percent elastic stain, still getting that beautiful vintage look with a little bit more comfort, or you can size up in a pair of 100% cotton jeans, still get that kind of casual look that you're going for without sacrificing the comfort. At the end of the day, there is so much out there that will cover a multitude of bases depending on the style, fit, fabric of the piece that you like. If you love a certain silhouette or a certain style, don't give up on that because of your lifestyle find the same piece in a fabric or style or cut or color that works for you. That way that that way you can wear what you love but still be practical and honest with yourself. 
Now that you've identified pieces that you really enjoy wearing, the next thing you want to do is put together two to three daily uniforms that you can build off of. Having these daily uniforms will help you when you feel stuck and you feel like, oh, I have absolutely nothing to wear. You can turn back to those daily uniforms and build on them with different accessories and with shoes. This is a really easy way to put into practice all of the things that we learned up until now. And the last thing that you'll want to do to make sure that your wardrobe suits your lifestyle is to experiment. I've said it again and I'll say it before that finding your personal style is not a one and done process. It's continuous and it's ongoing. We change, the world around us changes, and even though our core style and our core likes might stay the same, the way that we manifest those outwardly might change as our lives change. So don't be afraid to experiment with a couple of new pieces here and there. Another good way to make sure that your wardrobe fits your lifestyle is while you're experimenting, take pictures. Take pictures of your outfit every single day and then at the end of several weeks or a couple of months, go back and look through those pictures. Take inventory of um, the ones that you liked, the ones that were repeated, and that will help you continue to build a wardrobe that suits your lifestyle and that you constantly gravitate towards. Capsule wardrobing is not just about wearing basics all day or wearing neutrals all day. Building a capsule wardrobe is about finding a wardrobe that works for you 99 to 100% of the time. And if your lifestyle doesn't match up with your wardrobe, then your wardrobe is simply not serving you the way that it should. So be honest with yourself, take inventory of your pieces, figure out what you need your wardrobe to do for you and go from there. Don't get discouraged if you do have people pieces in your wardrobe right now that don't work for your lifestyle. You don't have to get rid of them. You don't have to tuck them away. You can find ways to make them work, but at the end of the day, if they are cluttering you and making you, um, and bogging down kind of your creative process, you can set them aside and revisit them later. Like I said, this is not a one and done process. Trial and error is really the name of the game with a little bit, but with a little bit of planning, like with these seven tips, you can minimize the amount of error and maximize the amount of success. Like I said earlier, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below some ways that you make sure that your wardrobe suits your lifestyle. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, it's an absolute honor to spend this time with you and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.